In this video, I will show you how I made this post processing for this scene I made with Blender in Photoshop. What you see in front of you is the scene I made with Blender. And every time I render a scene from Blender, I render the mist pass and the ID pass. The ID pass, as you can see in front of you, is a pass that gives every object in Blender different colors. So when I get it to Photoshop, I can select different objects just by selecting that color and it makes the selection easier for me. For the mist pass, it makes the depth working on the depth easier for me because it makes the value seen for you in Blender. So when you are trying to add, for example, the um, like, let's say clouds or fog or uh, smoke, it makes it makes it easier for you to uh, add them in uh, different places in the scene just by using Photoshop. One other thing I use for Photoshop is the Photo Bash. And Photo Bash is basically getting uh, stock images from our real world and blend it with the scene in Blender, uh, with the objects, as you can see, with, like I... W Do I, is if, it, good. Like I did with the columns. I got the stock photos of uh, Egyptian columns and I blend it with the Blender columns even though the uh, Blender scene I made was let's say uh, closer to the uh, concept art style I didn't I didn't have to do that I just went to do that just for some extra uh, realism And what you saw, what I did with the man right there is I put a line horizontally where the sky is supposed to meet the ground. And I took the model and put it beside the column to determine the size of the man comparing to the column. And then when I make the size right, I put the line on the horizon where the sky meets the ground and I put, and then I click Ctrl T while I'm selecting the man and I put the point on the line and I start dragging the man till I get the right size in the right place. The rest really is just like you see me doing in the uh, previous videos. I put the object and I start fixing the values, fixing the lighting and if you want to go more in depth and know more about that you can get my digital landscape reloaded course. I will put the link on the description where you see me explain all of these uh, steps. Here I'm trying to put extra uh, details like grass, plants and etc. And I'm not trying to hide from you the fact that everything I put works from the first time. That's not right. I start to uh, use different stocks, uh, different uh, selection methods. Um, I go through uh, a lot of process till the uh, thing that I want to make works. It doesn't work from the first time. I have to go through a lot. It takes time. What I'm doing with Photoshop right here is called uh, post process, post uh, processing or something like that is when you finish working on a 3D model or um, a 3D scene, when you get it from the 3D program that you made it with, it will look like it's too 3D-ish. So you will have to get it to Photoshop and fix some lightings, uh, paint over some details, add some photo bashing from uh, real stocks. And I'll put the links of all the stock images that I used from here. And also, uh, most of the stock images that I used were from Adobe Stock. But there was a, a model of a clock. I believe that's what you call it in English. I got it actually from Neo Stock websites, where you can find uh, a lot of different positions, uh, different perspective of that clock that you can add to your uh, images. And I will put the link for that in the description as well.
so make sure you check it out if you have made it this far into the video make sure to subscribe to the channel i also recommend anyone that's going to work with the concepts uh, arts and also for manipulation to uh, learn a digital to learn a 3d program such as blender or 3d max or maya whatever works for you i recommend blender for because first it's free and second it's easy and third it does the work as you can see the scene that i made with blender uh, at the first time without adding all of these uh, details with photoshop was actually good it doesn't even need to add the details to but uh, it needed the uh, subjects for this scene which was uh, the man that I'm working with right now or the character in the scene that adds something to the story I have been using Blender since a year right now and this is the result that you see in front of you. This is what I have reached in one year using Blender. Uh, so it's not uh, a hard software to learn, it's actually very easy, it just needs uh, daily using and I have been using it since one year and this is the result that uh, this is the level I reached as you can see in front of you. Why The reason why I recommend learning a 3D program is because working with perspective or trying to get the right stock images for your uh, scene or for your idea uh, sometimes is impossible unless you put like weeks or months of work to your uh, images so making your own scenes on the with blender or any 3d project 3d program will make things easier for you you can make your own architects buildings scenes all of that and i also recommend learning uh, how to make characters so everything you do you do just with 3d and you'll be in control of your uh, own ideas and you don't let these stock images control your ideas And here, one of the things that why I like using the mist pass because as you can see, I'm adding now right now the uh, smoke. And also, I use it to make the final uh, sharpening for the image. I also like to use the camera raw filter. <coughs> I also like to. I also like. <coughs> I also like to use the camera raw filter to add the final color grading uh, and add in the the depth, the vintage.
that was it for this video i hope you learned something i hope you enjoyed the speed art make sure to check my latest video that is similar to this one how to plan your characters in photoshop don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also follow us on our social medias and i'll see you in the next videos peace